Hi, this is Erica Awakening. Welcome to Erica's Video Club. We're going to be doing some tapping today about an issue that I know is really important to a lot of you. And the limiting belief we're going to work on is I don't know how to ask for what I want. It's probably easy to see how this limiting belief can hold you back in pretty much any area of your life. If you don't know how to ask for what you want, uh, you're unlikely, or less likely at least, to be getting it. It is true that you can become so congruent in your body and being that you can actually ask for things without even asking out loud and they'll start being delivered to your doorstep. But it has been my experience that an intermediate step in getting people to the level where they can literally just be manifesting things with the power of their mind is to get them to be first manifesting with the power of their voice and their actions. Uh, if you can't ask, it means you're not congruent. If you were congruent, it would be easy to ask. So that's what I'm gonna help you with today. Okay, so we're gonna get right to the tapping. I probably won't be talking a lot on these videos except to share with you special insights because really the tapping is where the power is. So let's go on Karate Cha and you're going to repeat after me. Even though I don't know how to ask for what I want, I'm actually really scared to ask for what I want. And I don't think it's safe to let this fear go. I love and accept myself anyway. All right, now we're gonna go to the top of the head and then around these different tapping points. You just follow where I'm tapping and repeat after me. I don't know how to ask for what I want. It's really scary to ask for what I want. When I try to ask for what I want, I feel all this anxiety in my body. I feel choked up in my throat. I feel tightness in my chest. And I don't want to let this fear go. If I ask for what I want, they might say no. They might laugh at me. They might criticize me. They might judge me. And all of that is going to feel horrible. Plus, they probably won't give it to me anyway. That's been my experience. So why would I even want to ask? It's so much easier not to ask. What if I could be powerful anyway? How am I ever going to live the life of my dreams if I'm too scared to ask for what I want? Okay, that addresses a lot of common fears. Um, what's, why don't you take a deep breath right now and check in with your body. Notice where you may be holding any tension. Maybe it's showing up in your shoulders. Sometimes it shows up in people's solar plexus. And just kind of check in with it, get present with it. 
Is it trying to tell you something? A lot of times the pains in our body have a message. If any memories came up in the round that we just did, it means they're related to this belief. And for example, you may very, very, very common for people to have memories about their parents saying no when they ask for stuff. And their parents weren't necessarily very um, compassionate <laughs> when they said no. So people became conditioned not to ask because it was too scary. You're just like this little kid. There's this great big parent here yelling at you or criticizing you or scolding you. And because you're so little and powerless, it becomes like, oh, I can't ask anymore. And unfortunately, even though you're now a grown up too, a lot of times people are still carrying that conditioning. So that's what we're addressing with this tapping sequence. All right, we're gonna go back on Karate Chop. Even though I'm still scared to ask for what I want, it doesn't really even seem possible. I've got some pretty deep habits of just going along with what other people want. Maybe I learned to be a people pleaser. Maybe I learned to sacrifice my own needs. But that's not really working for me. Because it makes me resentful. It makes me angry. And when I'm too scared to ask for what I want, I pretty much guarantee I won't get it. What if I could let these fears go? I'm open to new possibilities. Okay, we're gonna go now to the top of the head. <sighs> this intense fear about asking for what I want. It feels so horrible when they say no. It feels like they don't care about me. Like I don't matter. And I don't want to let go of this fear. I've heard no too many times. I think I'm going to die. If I hear no one more time, what if that's not true? What if it doesn't have to be painful? What if I could listen a little more carefully? To what the other person is actually saying. Maybe they're not really saying no. Maybe they're confused. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they're defensive. What if I could be open to staying in the conversation? Even if they do say no at first. It doesn't mean they're not going to change their mind.
a no today could turn into a yes tomorrow. I've decided to be open to this. It's going to feel so good that I'm finally speaking my truth. asking for what I want. It feels so good that it almost doesn't even matter anymore. Whether they say yes or no. Because at least now I'm being authentic. I'm being the real me. And the more I practice asking for what I really want, the more congruent I become. I am so ready to feel empowered about this now. I choose to feel calm and peaceful. Asking for what I want. Instead of being defensive, about the other person's response, I've decided to be curious instead. Maybe by listening carefully. what they say, I can get a better understanding of that person and of my own values and beliefs. I'm committed to knowing myself. I'm committed to understanding people. I'm committed to hearing yes more often. And I'm deeply committed to living authentically always asking for what I want. I deeply love and accept myself. All is well in my world. Okay, take a moment, take a deep breath, check in with your body. You may have noticed flashes of memories, beliefs, emotions as we did that sequence. Hopefully you're feeling a little clearer now. But you want to notice the shift to a new belief. It's very, very common that if we clear the belief, I don't know how to ask for what I want, that something else will pop up. Some other little objection that your mind has about asking. Um, so maybe it's not, I don't know how, but maybe it's, um, I don't even know what I want, or, you know, it could be a variety of different things. So then you move to that belief and you do what we did for this on that one. And you just keep going. 
it's a process. It's a process because you have thousands, millions, if not billions of beliefs and they're all running your life. So um, my intention, my goal for the work that I do with my clients and with you here in these videos is to shortcut the process. You could literally spend a lifetime unraveling all of the negative limiting beliefs that you have. Believe me, I've seen it many, many times. Um, people tapping, but not tapping in an efficient way. And what I'm showing you are going to be ways that you can shortcut the process and clear out more baggage more quickly so that you're not uh, spinning your wheels. One nice thing about this sequence is that you can see that this applies to many different areas. If you're having trouble asking for what you want with money or sex or relationships or your job or whatever, this, this sequence applies to all of them. So that's one way you can shortcut the process. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I'd love to get your feedback, of course. You can always email me. And um, I'll see you for the next segment a week from now. Thanks so much. This is Erica Awakening. Goodbye. <laughs>